What's going on everybody, I'm Patrick from Powlax and welcome to the Parker Fieldhouse where we're gonna be doing an addendum to the how women's and men's sticks are different video because since the women's sticks are have different techniques of cradling, switching hands, and then catching, we're kinda of just gonna go over those, how I would teach them to players who are playing with a women's stick and let's get right into it. This is the Powlax Backyard, where I'll be teaching techniques, common mistakes, and showing you ways to improve your game at home. So the big reason why switching hands and catching are different with a women's stick is because cradling is inherently different. And the reason it's different is because once you bring the stick vertical, the ball is going to come out. So we are going to have to continue cradling with a women's stick once the stick is vertical in order to control the ball in the stick. Now, when we're teaching this, it's basically the same technique as a men's stick. It's just that once it comes up, the ball is going to fall out. So we're going to start by teaching the finger, wrist, and arm motion of an easy cradle at the horizontal position because the ball is not going to fall out. So as we push the stick forward, we need to keep the pocket of the stick in front of the momentum of the ball. So our fingers and wrist are going to curl. When we come back, they're going to extend. And we want to get really used to this general motion because it's how we're going to cradle in all positions. We can also teach the passer's cradle as well. So once we come up to our collarbone, we're coming kind of out with our top hand. We are turning the stick with our bottom hand and we're coming out curling back and straight. Now this is how we're gonna cradle in our passing position. So once we have both of those ideas, now we can teach cradling vertically. So once they have the motion with their fingers and wrists, we're gonna have them bring the stick up to their shoulder and they're immediately gonna come across their body to their other shoulder in a very big wide cradle. Now notice my bottom hand. See how it's kinda of locked in my belly button position? That's because the stick to drive the ball into the sweet spot of the pocket needs to kinda of turn around an angle like this so that the offset drives the ball into that sweet spot. So we go shoulder to shoulder just like this, curling the stick with our fingers and wrists in the same way we would in the horizontal cradle, just that now we're adding an arm movement going all the way to the opposite shoulder. Once we've got that pretty good, now we're gonna do a shorter cradle going shoulder to nose, shoulder to nose, shoulder to nose. And notice, it does get a bit harder because you gotta turn it a bit faster and you gotta try to keep it on that angle to drive the ball into that pocket. Now, another thing we can do is do shoulder to nose on the opposite side right, an offside cradle. Now this is huge when we're dodging. Let's say we want to face dodge. We want to be able to protect on this opposite side and we're still using that same arm, wrist, and finger curl and extend that we would with our horizontal cradle. We're gonna do that exact same thing with our opposite hand, whichever our off hand is, by doing the horizontal cradle, passer's cradle, big cradle from shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to nose, shoulder to nose offside, with both hands and then we're gonna teach how to switch hands. Now for the men's game, we're gonna drive the stick in. For the women's game, we're gonna get into that shoulder to shoulder cradle and as we bring the stick across our body to the opposite shoulder, we're gonna bring our bottom hand up to the throat of the head and then we're gonna replace the bottom hand with what was our top hand. So we're big cradle here. When we come across, we drive our bottom hand up and we just continue that cradling motion in that next spot and that's how we switch hands. Now you can challenge the girls by having them try to switch hands back and forth as quickly as they can. This is a drill that I really love to do. And so you're just bringing it shoulder to shoulder, but you're switching hands every time you bring the stick across your body. So once players have learned all those cradles, we're gonna have them switch between each cradle. We'll do a horizontal cradle, vertical cradle, cradle on the opposite side of your body, immediately bring it back to cradle on your collarbone, right? Now let's switch hands, cradle on your collarbone on the other side, protecting cradle. Wind up like you're in the pass, face dodge, protect on the opposite side of your body, right? And just by switching hands and cradling in all of these different ways, maybe even cradle upside down, players are going to learn how to control the ball in the stick very well so that as they're in there, as they're playing, it becomes so natural that as they want to protect their stick or move up to pass, it all just becomes natural. But the key is recognizing that when you bring that stick vertical, you have to continue cradling. Now the final part we have to teach is catching. Now catching with a women's stick is basically the exact same as with a men's stick. We wanna position the face of the stick where the ball is gonna move through it, let it hit the pocket, make sure we accept it, 
And if our stick is horizontal, we can just leave it horizontal. But if we want to bring the stick vertical, we've got to get right into that cradle. So as we catch the ball, we want to accept it. We're going to bring it horizontal or we're going to get right into that cradle. Now, this makes things pretty difficult if we're going to be accepting the ball on the opposite side of our body. As you bring the face of the stick across your body, it's a bit difficult to learn how to keep the face open, except curl your hand over and then bring it into your natural cradle motion. So if it comes to the opposite side, you accept it and then bring it right back into that cradling motion. The biggest key to catching is if you can catch it and keep it horizontal, you're good to go, you're golden. But when you catch it, you've got to immediately start cradling. Now the biggest advantage is that these new sticks allow for that to be pretty easy. The key is just to make sure you give, make sure that ball hits that sweet spot, and then begin your cradling motion. Once we understand those three things of cradling, switching hands, and catching, everything else is pretty much identical. And so all of the faking, shooting, dodging videos, ground ball videos are all going to apply to the women's game. But if I ever mention cradling in a way where I'm cradling vertically and I stop, that's where you gotta know for the women's game, we gotta make sure we continue our motion and then all of those men's training videos are going to apply. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how we want to teach cradling, switching hands, and catching with a women's stick. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. Have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope this video has helped you get a better understanding of the game and how to practice at home. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the Palax YouTube channel, and follow Palax on social media. To watch and learn more, support the Palax mission, and download the PDFs that accompany all of the Palax videos, head to palax.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.